Good morning, good morning. We're gonna try something. Today the prompt is flood. And we didn't have floods, but there's been floods associated with this storm here. And I know there's tons and tons of terrible floods up in the Northeast. Poor Vermont. Vermont is a mess. But this is my page for today. Just this little half page of um, book page. So I'm going to try and do something I see on the internet. I know it probably won't work, but we're going to try it and then we're going to let it dry. And then, um, tomorrow morning, cause this is Wednesday night. We're going to see what happens where I go from here. I love the fact that these things are kind of flopping around. I don't know how long. Oh, ha! Huh, same color. Imagine that Dina and Diane have the same color. It's just called something different and it's a different consistency actually to their credit. All right, I'm gonna have to use a paintbrush here because I don't know how old these paints are. One of them is the newer flavor of Target paint and one is the older one. And I don't like the newer one. Ooh, but that's a pretty color. And it's got one of my favorite names, Stretchy Wetsuit. <laughs> I think that's a great name for a paint. <laughs> if I had a paint company, that's what I'd name my paints. Oh yeah, see this one's kinda, this one is also, um, Shimmer, it's called. It's much thicker, but it's metallic-y. Okay. Too much paint here. Where's that piece of paper? I don't know what my husband is watching, but there's some screaming lady on there. Okay. Now, before everything dries, this is not me teaching you anything. I don't teach anyhow for new people. I don't teach because I usually do everything wrong. But I've seen, like, there's a famous, famous YouTube person, man, I don't know. Anyhow, he puts dots on things and then he turns them into gorgeous pieces. So we're going to just go with dots and see where it takes us. But they're all water, especially stretchy wetsuit, right? So what my idea was... Kind of gonna swerve it around and see what happens. Well, I don't have enough of the other two, so we need stretchy wetsuit to be represented, and the other two, um, Diane and Dina's, are pretty much the same color. Just a different thickness. So we're trying to create a wave here, sort of. And then I don't know what I'll do with it in the morning after it dries overnight. But so far I'm liking it. I'm going to stop because I don't want to mess it up. Stretchy wetsuit needs to be hanging around here some more because I like that color. It's a beautiful, like a Williamsburg blue or something. A, a cool, cool blue. All right, we're going to let that dry. Come back in the morning and see what happens. We'll just leave all these blues here. Beautiful color. Flood. We'll see what happens. Okay, it's the next morning. Well, actually, no, it's not. It's almost noon because I've had to babysit the dog because my husband has been in and out all morning or in meetings at our house with people. And I'm like, the dog can't be there because he's too much of a nuisance. And the dog has separation anxiety when my husband leaves the house. So I have to like literally sit on a bed or a couch with him and put him in my lap until the husband gets home. It's pitiful. Only probably because he's had a lot of stuff going on the last two or three days and the dog is like freaking out. He keeps leaving us. Why are you making him leave? Anyhow, so, okay. <gasps> this is gorgeous. I don't know if I want to put anything on this. This is so pretty. 
can you see that? There's a little bit of iridescent in this one is called Shimmer Sky. This is, I think, I can't remember which one is the new formula and which one is the old formula. Both of them worked great. These two are the same color. They just have different properties. One is thicker than the other one, I think, from Ranger, Diane and Dina. But um, the shimmer in this one swerved a little bit. Oh, this is so pretty. I did this in Procreate, which is really pretty. I went really faint with a lot of stuff and concentrated on three. I was trying to make like little, little tiny like amoebas, like looking at floodwaters under a microscope, which I put that in my stuff yesterday in the, if y'all don't read the little caption or whatever, that's in the writing part of the post of the, of the um, YouTube thing, whatever you call it. No, those are not technical terms. Um, I really try to like summarize or if it's Halloween, do something funny or scary or appropriate for what I'm doing. Christmas, same thing. Stories, I kind of elaborate plot lines or whatever. I don't know. But my, my description has stuff in it. And I said yesterday, like I was looking under a microscope or doing yoga with a paintbrush. And so this is like yoga with a paintbrush and then flood water under a microscope. Theoretically, that because this kind of all reminded me of like trays that you stick on the, what do you they call slides on them? That's what we called them in high school, which is the last time I looked under a microscope. But um, ah, this is so pretty. I really love this. So I'm thinking I'm going to, I don't want to tear because I don't want white edges on top of the blue. And this is a cream and this is a white. So I think I'm just going to cut tiny little cells of flood waters, which is what I concentrated on making here under the microscope. And I did this on Procreate. I was just playing around, seeing what would happen. And I kind of like how it turned out. And I don't want any kind of like sharp edges. I want it all to be curvy. But I might have some like, because I have room to play around since this is such a small sheet. Oh, you know what? Kind of like it like this, but I don't know if that's enough room to have a little bit of a hole here and a hole here. Hmm. Might have to use some um, double-sided tape for this one because that's going to need to be strong. That would be kind of cool. Like my flood water is flooding off the page. Flooding? Is that a verb? Don't think so. Sorry. You didn't come here for English, I hope. <laughs> uh here. I don't want it to get stuck back here. Oh dear. I think I'm going to have to put some, I might put the backing back on the back here where the tape is over the edge, but I have to get some on there. I'm Frankensteining my journal back together. Speaking of journals, don't know how her name is listed and I'm not good at tagging and linking and all that kind of stuff, but Consi, C-O-N-S-I-E, atop Serenity Hill, is a lady that I took um, art classes from, art journal classes from two years ago now, this fall. It's right before COVID. Three? I don't know. Uh, anyhow, really a neat lady. It was way up in the upper part of the state. And um, 
she's hooked up with some of the popular people. Tiffany. I can't remember what. She's the, the girl that's in. She's really funny, actually. Very funny. Um, I think she's in southern Alabama. She's got a really deep southern accent. And she is very messy. But anyhow, some of the people she's connected to in the art world. Um, they had a retreat somewhere up in like New Hampshire or someplace. I need to really, really, really make a weird shape here to get this one to fit right. But anyhow, she made a journal. It's on YouTube. She's on, I subscribe to her, so I always see when she comes up. And she made a gorgeous journal in this experience. It's really pretty. It has openings here. I mean, tip-ins. Oh, it's just, it's beautiful. They soaked cardboard and softened up cardboard. And anyhow, she was talking about, it was a struggle for her. And, and, and how she had to really uh, listen to the paper and listen to the supplies and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yeah, 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 that's what I do. Anyhow, I really enjoyed the class I took with her. I think it was like once a month for four months or three months. It was really neat, really neat. And she, she, she did say, <laughs> in all her infinite wisdom, you are definitely a collage person. And I'm like, yeah, I really like it. Okay. Too bad I don't know how to put the tape in the right place as a collage person. I don't think these are going to be strong enough. I may have to put another piece of paper over this. All right, I'm gonna put something behind here. Oh, I really like that. Kind of like water dripping off in either end, but I need some tough paper. Oh, where's my husband going? Just slam the door. It's not like him. All right. I, I, I need to put like bridges between here and here and here and here so that these don't fall off. And this could be underneath whatever's going to happen tomorrow. Just like that. Yeah. Let's tape them down. When I need construction tape like this, I get ugly washi tape that I've gotten in sets that I don't like. You know, one of the rolls. This is construction tape. <laughs> this is a strong one too. just to give this a little bit more support. Anyhow, th that journal was gorgeous. I highly encourage you to watch that video. It just came out today, yesterday for y'all. But it is, her journal is deliciously gorgeous. It has so much going on and so many layers and so many weird, not weird, delicious, um, places where pages start and stop and oh, it's, it's just great. Let me see if I can cut this off. Okay. All right. That supports that. And then when I do this, I still want there to be a little light between those. So I don't know how I'm going to do this tomorrow. <sighs> Tomorrow's another day.
this is just for support. Because this is just copy paper and that I printed all this on from Procreate. And a book page. So it's kind of thin. I don't know how I'm going to do tomorrow's. But it's going to have to remain holy. So I'm going to tear this. So it's a. That's what I should do. I should tear this a little bit more. See? Intuitive. And it was interesting to hear that Conti had gotten a little frustrated and how she worked it out in her journal. Like, yep. Oh. Flooding. This is... What was this one? I don't have... I have a copy of that thing printed somewhere. But unfortunately, it's not right here. There it is. Oh, yeah. Oh. Thunder Oaks oaks and I'm not going to try and um, do this like this is supposed to be an oak this is an oak under a microscope right everything's going to be from the aspect of a microscope perhaps this is thunder I wasn't going to write him here but apparently I am now Okay, and this is Floods. Now tomorrow, oh, I really like that. Can you see the holes? I think you can. Hopefully. Oh. And even whatever ends up back here is going to show through. I really like that. Right now it's this. This will all be covered up somehow tomorrow. I don't know how. I'll have holes in my paper tomorrow. Tomorrow my thing is flashlight. So that's going to be interesting. Since you can't put a flashlight under a microscope. Maybe a, like a ray of light in the flashlight. I don't know. But I really like this. A lot. So, I, again, if you can find her, Conti atop Serenity Hill. Beautiful journal. Beautiful. Not paid, not affiliated. We don't have the same manager. I don't have a manager. I don't know if she does. Um, she's pretty savvy about how she does things. Smart. Oh, I really like that. I, on the other hand, am not very smart. But I do have fun. Oh, I really like this. This is, this is really, who knows if I'm still going to be afraid of storms. And when I say afraid, I mean, not afraid, afraid. I don't have to hide under my pillow. I don't need a thunder sweater or anything like that, that you give animals, but it is a little apprehensive. It's like, oh, here we go. Hold on to your hats, people. Well, this paper, this is watercolor tape from somebody. And it just happens to pretty much work on this. Oh, wow. Okay, stop talking, lady. Really like it. That'd be fun to do a whole journal like that with holes. Alrighty, that's it for today, people. Thanks for watching as always, in your nice comments and so your support means a lot. It very much does. And your encouragement. So thank you, thank you, thank you. See you all tomorrow with a flashlight. Bye. <laughs>